Welcome to ALS Today. This is Michelle Flum reporting. Many people with ALS live two to three years, but at least one out of 10 people live at least five to 10 years after being diagnosed with the disease. One reason some people may live longer, according to a growing number of clinical studies, may be that they have more regulatory T cells, Tregs, key immune cells that may help protect motor neurons by reducing inflammation. An emerging strategy, low-dose IL-2, aims to increase the number of these immune cells in people with ALS in hopes to slow the progression of their disease. The approach is soon to be evaluated in the Phase 1-2 clinical trial in France. We caught up with Principal Investigator Gilbert Ben-Simon of the Assistance Publique Hôpitaux de Paris and asked him about the potential of the strategy for people with the disease. If there is a real causative effect between level of Treg and survival, then the, the margin for a benefit is quite wide. It's much larger than, than the one we have achieved with real results. Looking at this type of result, it's impossible not to, to do something and to test the hypothesis. The strategy is especially promising, according to Ben Simon, because it boosts Tregs even in healthy people. But a phase 1-2 trial is still needed to make sure the drug is safe and increases these immune cells in people with the disease. The effect of IL-2 on Treg, I consider it as being established. The small study we are planning to do is just to verify that in this population, they do not have specific things that we don't know about that would make them not tolerating IL-2 or having some resistance to IL-2 effect. Tregs appear to multiply in people with ALS early in their disease, suggesting these populations could be expanded. But according to Bessimont, this must be checked before a larger trial can be conducted to evaluate efficacy. From an analytic point of view, we need to start by showing that this is indeed the case. 24 people are expected to take part in the Phase 1-2 clinical trial. The first participant is expected to enroll sometime this fall. We need to start by showing that the drug is well tolerated. Then we, we would move to a large phase two.